Trimble Access 2020 can now be run on the TDC 600 Android controllers. The TDC 600 is a powerful, lightweight Android handheld computer with decent specs. But I'm not here to talk about the TDC 600. I want to talk about the version of Trimble Access that runs on the TDC 600. So did we rewrite a chunk of Trimble Access to get a new Android version? How much functionality is missing in the Android version? How different is the Android version to the Windows version? How do I install the Android version? These are some of the questions I'm going to answer next. We didn't create a whole new application. That would have taken decades to get the level of functionality required. We just made good old Trimble Access work on Android. The Android and Windows versions are built together and will be released together. New features will almost always go into both versions. The Android migration took a lot of grunt work and some clever design. We didn't just port it to Android, we also optimised the workflows for seamless use on a section screen, either in landscape or portrait. There are a couple of limitations to note though. If you're working on 3D projects utilising VIM models and scan data, you should use something like a TDC 7, because the TDC 600 has no support for IFC files or the S610 scanning total station. The TDC 600 is fantastic for Genesis surveys, and you can Bluetooth the controller to your total stations. But if you want to do robotic work, then you'll have to use the TDL 2.4 radio, as there is no clip-on Serenet radio like there is with the TSC 7. The only specialised application available with the Trimble Access 2020 Android version is Roads, but more will become available over time as the apps are migrated to Android. Enough talk, let's look at the Android version and see how it compares. The first thing you will notice is on the projects and jobs screens. The additional information displayed on the right on a TSC 7 is now available under the dot 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 button. The dot 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 button is now on each project or job and tapping this gives you the upload and download options as well as delete and browse. Looking at the menu structure, the only difference here is that we don't automatically open favourites like we do on a TSC 7 and we can only show one menu depth at a time. Looking at the status bar at the top of the screen, the status line has been moved beneath the status buttons and we've dropped the icon showing which app you are running. This is no big deal because you can see which apps you are running in the menu and switch apps from the menu too. When running in portrait mode, the TDC 600 doesn't have room for more than four soft keys, so if there are more than four, we show an arrow to indicate there are more and you can either tap the arrow or tap and drag the soft keys to see the others. Trimble Access Escape or Back Soft Key no longer exists on a Portrait TDC 600 either. Use the physical back button instead. In landscape mode on the TDC 600, we have room for Escape and so offer the Escape key. To enter values, tap in a field and the keyboard appears. We default to a numeric keypad for numeric fields, but you can switch to Alpha if you need to. For example, to type in 2, you use Feet. A lot of screens throughout Trimble Access just switch to Portrait without anything special to consider. For example, Favourites or Instrument Functions. There's simply a slightly different layout. Triangle Solutions is another example where there used to be an image on one side and fields on the other. In Portrait mode, they are now one above the other. Forms where you might want to interact with the map are split screen. For example, Compute Inverse or Key and Arc through three points. The screens that are more interesting to talk about are the ones where you want to see the map at the same time as a form. For example, when using measure points or measure codes. And fetch coded line work that you want to see appearing in the map as you measure. In landscape mode, you can see both, no problem. But in portrait mode, we now offer a vertical slider that allows you to control how much of the form you see or how much of the map. You can see all of the form or just a little of the form, it's up to you. This slider isn't available in landscape mode, but perhaps this is something we'll consider for a subsequent release. Let's start measure codes and you can see we can adjust the slider to see more or less of the map and the button sizes adjust to match. When we measure a point, you can see the map and form at the same time too. So for anyone familiar with Trimble Access on the TDC 7, you can easily see that running Trimble Access on the TDC 600 is just as easy. Installing it is simple too. The installation on Android is very similar to Windows. We have an Android version of the Trimble Installation Manager that runs on the TDC 600. Workflows for downloading your survey data to the office are similar on Android too. You have a number of choices. You can use Trimble Sync Manager, Trimble Business Center, 
or USB sticks using the Trimble Access Copy Files to and from functionality. You can also use Windows File Explorer via a cable like you do to get photos off your phone. But be careful when using File Explorer. Always make sure that you shut down Trimble Access or at least close the job you're transferring to ensure you get the entire job. That covers pretty much everything you need to know about Trimble Access running on the Android TDC 600. For more information, visit the Trimble Access Help Portal. Thanks for watching.